Hi, welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and thank you so much for stopping by. We are at our home today, and we have a styling video for you. And I know that we have been on mute for a few days. World events have um, just been incredibly... <laughs> See, I'm, I'm trying really hard to get through it without getting upset and not crying because here at our channel, we celebrate the beauty of all people and all languages and all different backgrounds and all different stories. And we think that, yes, we recognize that we're all different. Some of you have darker skin, some of you have lighter skin, some of you have brown hair, some of you have blue eyes, some have brown, and you live different kinds of lives. Some of you are attorneys, some of you are stay-at-home moms. Some of you are world travelers and some of you love to stay home. And we're, we're all different in all these amazing ways. And it's, it's particularly hard for us to get our minds around what's been happening. And um, it's just, it's been very difficult. I've done this intro probably now I'm up to about 20 times because I'm having a hard time getting through it without tearing up because circumstances have been so bad. I just want the world to be a better place and I wanna be one of those people that's actively working towards that. It's one of the reasons that I started my business. It's one of the reasons that it's based on not just my home, it's the house of Valentina. It is my house, it's my home, but it's my heart too. And I take these things that are happening, just, they, just, they just really get to me. And I've seen other people just blow it off and pretend like it's not happening. And other people who are like, okay, I put my black screen up, I'm good. Some say you shouldn't, some say you should. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know what the best thing is. But what I can tell you is that we love all people and we love to celebrate all different stories and all different lives. And the world would be an incredibly boring place if we all looked the same. I mean, that, like, when I stop to think about it even for a second, like, what the world would be like if every single person on the planet had the exact shade of skin and the exact color hair and the exact same eyes, that would be so sad. Um, that's what we talk about here on this channel all the time is we are styling these rooms and incorporating your stories and your lives and all these things. That's what makes your home so beautiful. It's you. It's your uniqueness. It's all the things that you, the lives that you lived and the things that have jumped out at you that you've collected and the things that interest you. That's what makes your home so you and it's your refuge and it's a place that is very intimate and very personal. And so we are going to talk about styling these shelves today because I'm determined that I'm going to get a video out for you and I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to just go for it. Um, but I just wanted you to know that this conversation is not going to just stop here, that we're going to talk some more about it. My husband and I have been working on some behind the scenes projects long before these current events were even being made so publicly known. Um, we were already working on projects because we are so passionate about helping people. We both have started our own businesses. We've been helping nonprofits overseas for 12 years. We've been trying to figure out how, how to do a really good job doing it here. And so there's a lot of things that have been put in motion already. And we're going to be sharing more of that with you in the coming days. But for today, <laughs> For the sake of my camera, which keeps dying because I take so long to try to get through this, I'm just going to jump in and share with you this styling video. And remember, as we get ready to jump into this, remember that the thing that makes your shelves and your home so cool is you. So think about the things that really just make your heart leap when you see them, things that you're just like, oh, I just love that. Things that feel cool, things that represent your story, things that represent your family. Those are the things that are gonna make your house feel like a home, and that's what we want you to do. So as we jump in, keep that in mind, and let's go style some shelves and um, have some fun. One of the things that you guys ask me more than anything else is how to style your shelves. It's one of the questions that I get constantly. And I really love styling a shelf. It's something that just, 
it relaxes me and with everything that's been going on in the world right now anything that can help us just kind of rejuvenate ourselves something that calms us I'm all in for so <laughs> so today I wanted to show you some of my tips and tricks on how to style your own shelves and some of the things that I do to, as I put it together because I realized um, when people ask oh how do you do that I don't think about a formula <laughs> but there is kind of somewhere in my mind there is a formula and so I'm trying to extract that from my own brain so that I can actually share that with you guys so that you can see how I do it because the truth of the matter is is that there's no wrong way to style your shelves this is it really comes down to how it feels to you my tip number one is to create your shelves in a way that really appeals to you and don't worry about whether it looks like something out of the magazine or it looks like something you've seen somewhere else or if it looks like your neighbor Sally's. At the end of the day, creating an interior that is all about you is the most important thing. And it may not be perfect, it may not be mathematically correct, but it will feel good to you. So focus on yourself, focus on the things that you love. You can see here I have quite a collection of things. So for my tip number two, the thing that I do before I really even start anything is to start gathering items that I think might work. Now, right off camera over here is a table full of things that I didn't use over here. And I started pillaging other areas of the house. Those of you that have visited here very often know that I like to move things around and, and play with things. And so that just means that I'll move something else into those other spots. And I think it's just really fun. Um, but you know, it's, it's fun to do something seasonal like this. And I grab some of my seashells and some of my things that are white and things that just feel like summer to me. And um, you can see here how I've gathered up some coral and I've got this beautiful, beautiful vase from Pottery Barn and it's got this amazing texture. And I've got this really cool sea sponge. I love these things. These sea sponges add so much texture. And you can see a lot of this sea see life those kinds of things really add texture and that's one of the things that you want to be trying to as you gather things be thinking about things that are smooth um, you can see here how we've got something that's very modern these are very smooth um, and then we've got things that are rough and we've kind of mixed we've mixed the textures the main thing is that you really just want to have a variety here. So tip number three would be to build out a really good base for yourself. So it's nice when your eye can move across kind of in a zigzag pattern. Your eye naturally reads things. Um, it's funny how you think, oh, I just read a book, but you, you visually read a room, you visually read a shelf. And so you want some of the heavier items to kind of move across the shelf. So sometimes I'll use a book to do that, that kind of adds that weight. And also just some of the larger items that are a little bit heavier and they, they, they really do weight that down just a little bit so that it makes it feel, I don't know, it makes it feel solid in a, a crazy kind of way. By having the items moving back and forth like this, it gives your mind a place to rest. It sees the larger items and it feels rhythmic to visually read the shelf. Then you can really start to have a lot of fun. So the next thing you wanna do for tip number four is to start adding in smaller objects. I really love to infuse personality. One of the things that I really love is this really cool carved uh, camel that we got in Morocco. And I just think these are so much fun. And I had friends that had huge collections of them and I don't have too many, but they're very special to me and it just makes me smile. And so don't take this too seriously. You really wanna convey your personality through it and those little things sometimes can be easier to convey your personality through rather than the larger items because the larger items typically, sure, they're definitely gonna be, the, the larger items are definitely going to be things that you love, but they're also going to, they're meant to be heavy, they're meant to be large, and they may not have the same kind of personality that you can infuse in through some of the smaller things. Although I will say that my bust is kind of breaking my own little rule. I mean, that 
definitely adds a lot of personality. You guys know I love these busts. These are amazing. Having something with this sort of patina and texture to it is really gonna make a huge impact on your shelves. So think about your heavy books. And even here, see I haven't used a heavy book, I've actually used a tile. Let me show you this, this is so cool. Since I do a lot of renovations, a lot of times I have some really cool samples of tiles. And this is one of my favorites. I love these cool concrete tiles. Well, my client decided not to use this one in particular, so I got to keep it. And I use it as a tray, I use it as a trivet, I use it as a, a piece to style with. I just absolutely love it. So um, you don't have to only use books to be able to create that kind of visual weight. There's, there's lots of ways to do that and I think that's really fun, don't you? One of my other tips would be to think through maybe just a tiny little accent color. Now I've been trying to add more blue into this space, but the truth of the matter is is that all of my blue things are in my houses that I've staged. So I don't have anything else blue and I just decided not to worry about it because I could add a third color in here through gold and these little gold accents it just gives the mind somewhere to see and having that extra little color in there gives the mind somewhere, it just helps it to roam, if that makes any sense. It's like, okay, I see the gold and the gold and the gold and your mind just kind of roams between it. And then this, see how this has, see how that has a little bit of that gold metallic on it? So it just helps your mind move across and I think that that's really awesome. Another thing that I always do is that I add greenery. I think that it adds a lot of life into a space. It's just very, very physically it actually adds life to the space and you can see here how I've taken just a little bit of, I guess this is another form of eucalyptus. Yeah, it is actually. So I, you can see how I've taken eucalyptus and I've moved that across as well. So you're always thinking about how you read that space and how they kind of move. And it just, base it off of how it feels because whether it follows this exact path, sometimes I break my own rules. I'm like, I don't wanna put that there. It's not an actual zigzag, but it just feels right. One of the other things that I do is that I like to take the shelf and move beyond. Let me move over to this side. <laughs> One of the other things that I love to do is to think beyond the shelf. So often we get our blinders on and we see this small space right here, but right beyond this space is this amazing plant and right above it are some pictures that I've put up here. And so it just all kind of ties together. I've got some of the green from that green and your eye, it just moves around it and it just all feels pulled together and that's what you really want. So one of the other things that I do is that I take a picture with my phone. This is something for me, it helps me remove myself from the actual situation. Sometimes when you're really up close to something, you can't see it for what it is. And when you take a picture, it removes you from it just enough that you can see something doesn't feel quite, quite right to you. Like you'll look at the shelf and you're like, hmm, something feels off. And then you take a picture of it and you can figure out what it is. So this has gone through several little um, designs and all of them were great. There wasn't any that were bad, but it's all the same objects kind of moved around. And um, I try, like I'll even tape up a different picture in that little, I'll tape a picture over the picture frames to see if I think I'll even like that before I bother changing it out. So these little things will actually help you enormously. Hi, Yumi. hi, 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 what you doing? The kids just went to Starbucks and he got his puppuccino. This little guy apparently loves puppuccinos. Do you like puppuccinos? Do you like Starbucks? <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs> All right, you ready to go play? All right. I hope that these tips and tricks will help you as you're putting together your own shelves, whether you are styling a bookcase or maybe a china cabinet. These are, the these are just the little tips and tricks that I use 
every single time and my shelves never look the same so it, it's just a lot of fun to me to be able to style them up differently and I love going to my clients houses and having the opportunity to use their things that's probably my favorite thing that I do because a lot of times I'm able to include one of their personal photos maybe it's a really cool treasure that they've collected while they were traveling or it's a family heirloom and I just think that a bookshelf or a china cabinet or somewhere that you're styling shelves is the perfect opportunity to just really celebrate you, celebrate your family and your life and your story and have a place where it all kind of gathers together. And not only that, but it's a great way to display your actual personality overall because here I've got quite a bit up on these shelves. That's a lot of stuff up there. But some of you will say, hey, I don't, I don't like that much stuff. And it's like, oh my gosh, then don't put so much stuff on yours. If I was there at your house and you said that to me, we would do a very simple design for you. I mean, that, that's the thing is we, we cater to you. We're not trying to convince you to be exactly like us. I mean, you know, I'm awesome and all, but <laughs> not really. <laughs> Um, but I think this is just, I think that it's just fun to create something that really celebrates you. It celebrates not just the things that you have, but the life that you're living and the things that you've collected and the stories. I think that's just so cool, don't you? You guys are always asking me afterwards to please show you more of what was actually here. So I'm sorry, I've got like two light sources <laughs> coming into this area. So it's a little bit crazy trying to film here. But I wanted to show you real fast before you guys run off what I've actually styled with because I do think that the things that you choose really do matter. Um, so I've got this really cool coral. I, I've got a thing for coral anyways. And who doesn't? It's summertime, right? So I really love this coral. So I have a mix. I have things that are from Pottery Barn and then I have really cool pieces that are actually just vintage that we've collected places. Um, and then this super cool sea sponge just is amazing. And my son likes to wear it as a hat. Of course, I love anything that's got wood and these incredible African busts are one of my most prized possessions. I love any kind of bust, but to have one carved out of wood with this kind of detail, is breathtaking. I mean, his, the little hairs on his head and oh my gosh, these are just so cool. So I think having cool stuff, it does make a difference. It really does. And having really good big books is really important. I tried to style this with small books originally and it's just too busy. You really do need some nice big books. So I'll leave a list down below of the items and the actual books that I actually put into my own home because I really like to have books that I would actually want to take down and read. Like, I don't think it's that great to have a book that's just there just to look pretty. I mean, who wants that? I think this vase from Pottery Barn is really cool. You guys have seen me moving this all over the house. I actually went and bought a second one <laughs> because I love it that much. It's just the perfect piece for so many places. And sometimes you just need the perfect piece. Um, and then you guys know, of course, we've always got these little glass little timers. And I just think that they're cool because they're glass. So you have like this element where light is kind of reflecting and bouncing off of it. And when you put that with something that's really raw and then something that's really shiny and then something that's really modern, it's just cool. And I think that that mix of things just works. Um, one of the things that I think was a great investment, I'm so glad I bought this, was this really cool, massive marble, I don't know, was it a paperweight? I don't know. They just called it a, a stone sphere. I got it at West Elm, but I know they sell these other places. So I'll leave you links for stuff like this. This stuff does matter. It really does change the way that this looks. I've got some vintage books hidden back there. I've got the gold from my, oh my gosh, my favorite, my favorite uh, peony candle. Oh, it smells like heaven. I've got this one and then I've got the lavender one and I just kind of trade off because I like the smell of different flowers and I don't want to go nose blind to one candle. So I think having a couple in the room and obviously I would not light this inside of here. I'd pull it out and put it on the, on the coffee table. Um, 
but you know, it's okay for it to be stored here while we're not using it. I even have this other candle that was from West Elm and it's empty almost. I've left the teensy tiniest little bit because they don't sell this, this scent anymore. I think this was the, I don't remember what it was. It was something that they had at Christmas time, but you can actually buy these as vases now. So I'm gonna eventually take all the wax out and use it as a vase, um, but until that day, then um, I've used the this really cool vintage vase. I, I mean, I don't know if it wasn't a vase, was it a jar? I don't know, but I found this at a flea market in Copenhagen and it's just, it's got this really cool texture and it just feels warm and rustic and I'm always looking, I can't do this without spilling water. Can you see how the bottom is rough? That's what I'm looking for. I want something that was actually handmade and a lot of times people don't they don't realize that they have such a treasure and I don't understand it. I, like somebody handmade that. I think something that's handmade is so cool. It, someone's time and effort literally when their hands touched it. I, I think that's amazing. And I think that that really adds a lot of character and charm to your spaces. I've got to show you this one last thing. I've got these amazing cool prints from an artist. Her name is Laurel Dawn. And oh my goodness, are these not just absolutely breathtaking? So that's the top image that's up there on the wall. And, oops, um, and, and she sent me a few of these. So we're getting ready to hit 50,000 subscribers and we're gonna be doing a really fun giveaway during that time. So you definitely wanna stay tuned because one of these little beauties is definitely going to be in that giveaway or maybe two if I can stand apart with them. <laughs> <laughs> totally being honest. I don't know if I want to share, but how cool are these? Aren't these amazing? I was thinking this one would be so cool in Haley's dorm room. Um, that is coming in a few weeks and I am actually not looking forward to it. It'll be fun to decorate and then the fun will be over when she doesn't come home. Yeah. So anyways, I thought that you'd enjoy seeing some of the actual items that we're using. Um, you guys are always asking for that. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, you guys know the drill. Hit subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Have you enjoyed the video? Do you want more styling stuff? Do you want more styling videos? Tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget, Visit us at Instagram, and um, you can also go and join the Inspired by V Facebook group. You guys, that group is so much fun because everybody gets to share the way that they've been inspired by maybe some of the videos or some of the Instagram content or our own home, how we've inspired you, but also we love to give you guys PDFs and just some fun behind the scenes kind of stuff. So you definitely wanna join all those things, and if that, you know, as if that was not enough. We have one more place that you can visit us. Actually, two more. If you are wanting the pictures from today's video, the best place to go is houseofvalentina.com. Not only can you book a virtual session with us, but we will actually come in and tell you where to move your stuff or maybe what color to paint your piece, some things to think about. It's just a total blast. We hop on a Zoom call and you can buy more time with us if you love it, um, but it's just awesome. So you can book your virtual design session and you'll also see the blog post there where we put all the pictures. So if you wanna pin an idea or save something, it's there for you. So thank you so much for stopping by. We hope that today's video has brought you a little bit of joy. I know it has definitely done that for me. Thank you so much for visiting. As always, it just means the world to me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.